Only a matter of time, though. Of course, Roman Amostak still trying to ride his way back to full fitness. Big shoulder injury in the off-season that none of us were aware of. Every time he's on the bike, though, he will get better and stronger. The two Nastan Husvanas, though, side by side, third and fourth position. Van Amostak not letting his teammate have it all his own way, either. Adamo has found his way past Hara. Hasn't he? Yes, he has. Moves up into fifth place. There he is in the background. Again, tries to go deep into the turn. Good corner speed midway through the turn, the number 74. Again, tucks to that inside. Didn't work from last time, didn't work from this time either. They <laughs> are so deep, these ruts. Well, I'll tell you what, if he was sat down a brief moment before that, coming out of that right turn, might have had a different outcome for Dwarf, but he was stood up on the pegs, the back end pitched on him. He was able to just control it. Gap between first and second now, 8.6 seconds. 142.9, 43.4, Beniston Hirtz, respectively. These two, 43.9, 44.2. sense that maybe Kaido Wolf, if he did find his way past his teammate, might just be able to get a bit of a, a boost on, find his way back onto the rear wheel of the Yamaha rider. There's Adamo and Hara coming back towards us through the middle. To Wolf, almost alongside, he's alongside his teammate, and he gets down lower as well. He's really having to force it, and he does force it. Makes his move into third place. He had to work hard for that, out of that right turn. Stayed low over the little monster energy jump. Was on the wrong side. Well, he was on the inside through turn five, but then he had to dive and close down the door on his teammate in that back corner there.